Howdy y'all. I am going to make a recipe for you today. This is a grapefruit and avocado relish that I serve on fish and I just thought I would share it with you because we really like it and it's a favorite. So uh, first I'll tell you what you need. You need one large pink grapefruit that has been peeled and segmented and I have started this one. I've made a few segments, um, but I was going to show you how I do that. And this is the grapefruit peel, which you don't need, and you can discard if you want to. But it smells so heavenly. Oh, it smells so good, you guys. I just couldn't throw it away, so I set them in a bowl and set them aside so my kitchen will now smell like wonderful grapefruit. So you got the, the grapefruit, then you need an avocado, two avocados if they're small, one big one, but this is two kind of small to medium avocados. And I'm gonna show you how I do that as well. Chop those up a little bit. And the other ingredients you will need is some olive oil. I'm using, uh, the California Olive Ranch extra virgin olive oil but you can use any olive oil that you like and a little red wine vinegar this is just the store brand of some red wine vinegar some minced garlic and of course you can do it yourself fresh I'm just using this because I have it um, a little bit of finely diced onion and the recipe actually calls for red onion, but any kind of onion works fine. You can use red, white, this is uh, Vidalia, uh, or you can use spring onions, just whatever, just a couple tablespoons, finely diced. Um, and I'm also using salt and pepper, and I prefer the uh, Himalayan pink salt, finely ground, and the black pepper, coarsely ground in the restaurant style. Uh, of course, fresh ground uh, spices are always best, but this is what I'm doing. So, I thought first I would try to show you how I segment the grapefruit. So, when the grapefruit's whole, I just cut off each end and then kind of peel the skin off. And then I'm left with the whole peeled grapefruit. Then I take an extra sharp knife, and you'll want to, you know, sharpen your knife and make sure it's really sharp. And I just go down behind the little membrane and then before the next one so that you get a nice clean fruit segment without any of the little papery dividers. And so I just do the whole grapefruit like that. And you can usually clearly see the sections and you just go right beside the sections and you want to be careful to uh, notice if there's seeds and if there are, you know, take them out. Now, originally, I would kind of dice this up. Um, but I tell you, if you have a, a ripe grapefruit, you don't really need to cut up the segments too much. This is a small one. Just a little bit because they kind of break up in the mixing process and you or you know I like them to have just a little bit of texture so what you're left with here is just like all the little papery parts of the grapefruit and then you have these let me throw this away then you have these lovely beautiful skin free segments and some juice as well so you know you do want to cut these up a little bit maybe just just chunk them up but that releases a lot of juice and you don't really just the big pieces really you just break up just a little bit because the in when you mix them they break up anyway okay so there we have our beautiful grapefruit segments no skin no seeds no of that white pith uh, just nice and clean Okay, now I'm going to show you how I do an avocado. There's lots of ways to do an avocado, uh, but I'll show you how I do. Okay, 
So I just cut it around lengthwise. And again, a really sharp knife helps. I've got lots of knives. This is an old favorite. This seed is loose, but if it's not, you just whack it with the knife and give it a twist, and it'll come right out. Make sure you get the little stem off. Uh, you can now peel this if you want it whole or in slices. You can just take the peel off or you can cut it up inside the peel. I usually prefer to peel it and then just slice it in my hand like this. And then go the other way. And then it's nicely nicely chunked up there okay or you can you know slice it inside of the skin like this and then you can just take a spoon and scoop out the already diced pieces just like that okay Okay, so we're going to get our mixing bowl right here, and into that we're going to add the diced avocado. Okay, and on top of that we will put the grapefruit segments with the juice and everything in there. Okay, so on this we want to put our onions, whatever kind of onions you like, a couple tablespoons. Then we'll put a little bit of minced garlic. go for like a whole teaspoon of garlic in there okay then we'll do a little bit of salt it doesn't take much just a little a little bit of black pepper even less a little bit of red wine vinegar just a sprinkling this actually has the little lid on it that sprinkles nicely so but if you were measuring I would say like a tablespoon at most because we've got juices off of the grapefruit so we don't need a lot of that vinegar and then we'll do some olive oil I'm gonna say a good a good two tablespoons maybe a bit more depending on how much you have in the bowl Okay, and we're just going to combine this. And as you're mixing, you know, you can take your spoon and break up the little segments a little bit more because you want them in bite-sized pieces. But this needs to sit a little bit before you serve it. But like I said, I, I kind of like it a little chunky, and you're going to mix it one more time before you put it on the plate. Uh, and when it goes through another mixing, it will break up a little bit more. So I've kind of learned to try to preserve those chunks of citrus in there because they will break down a little bit. Now, this needs to be put in a sealed container. So I have a nice sealed container right here. And we're going to put it in there. Simple. Okay. So now we've got our avocado grapefruit relish. And we're going to seal that up. And we're going to put this in the fridge for at least 20 minutes or up to about two hours. And then we serve this 
still chilled on top of grilled fish and it's really delicious and I hope you uh, give it a try and I hope you like it and thanks for joining me until next time y'all be sweet